way there, I ended up at TK Maxx and I did a little bit of shopping and I thought I would show you. I'm going to show you what I bought from TK Maxx and I'm going to make a coffee. I'm doing intermittent fasting and I'm not eating. So it's been roughly about 20 hours since I last ate. So now I'm going to break my fast with a coffee. Well, not really because it's not really food, is it? That's the first thing. I've literally had water. I'm going to have a coffee now. And then, oh my God, it's so windy. Should I shut the door? Bloody hell. Yeah, there's just so much noise outside. I don't understand what's happening. And it's really windy. But anyway, like I was saying, what was I saying? So yeah, I'm going to break my fast at... Because my appointment's at three. Ah! ah, sorry. Something amazing just came back in and I'm like really taken by it. An amazing email just popped through and I'm so happy. Ah, we thank God. We thank God. Ah. We thank God, honestly. This is good. Okay, so I went to the hair shop, first of all. You guys are always asking me about my hair, how it just looks really slick. Even when I have the waves, like how I just get that really nice shine that comes through, but it's not oily, but just, you know, giving you that luxe vibe. So, to be fair, this is my first time trying out this mousse. I've been using the got to be, but I don't like the... Um, the thing here, I don't like the, the opening here. It, it just, it breaks and I've not been able to press it because it's broken. So that, so what I've been doing is just shaking it and then placing it upside down. So I thought, let me try this one because I used to use it before. Ooh, wait, is this a dry consistency? It's definitely a mousse, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a mousse. But is this curl mousse? But I don't think... They, they don't make your hair curly. So I'm just going to show you. Oh, actually, let me show you what this looks like. So it's like that. And there you go. So that's the kind of mousse for your hair. This is, let me take off my ring. This is really good. If you want, I will just mix it with my hands. If you want to get that really flat look, especially if you're doing like a pony or even just after you finish curling your hair, um, it just really helps to flatten the, the flyaways and it gives your hair a much more slicker look. Can you see that? Just gives it a more slick, yeah, it definitely gives it a more slick look. And I really cannot style my hair with that mousse. It's great for baby hairs. If you're trying to um, do baby hairs, you could just apply these. So for example, so my wig's a mess, but if I was doing baby hairs, I would just apply this and then use a, um, a brush or like a tooth comb. I would use like a tooth chrome, a, a chrome, a tooth comb to like um, slick the baby hairs down. So this is a good mousse. I like Tresemme. It's a really good um, hair brand. Really, really good. I love it. And this is from Boots actually. And I went to the local hair shop and I bought this Care Care styling wax. Now this was thirteen ninety nine, I think. Yeah, the one I previously had, Care Care, kindly sent it to me, and I've had it for years. Yeah, considering that I use it daily to slick my hair down, it lasted me years, like a good, I don't know, three years. I've had it for a long time, and I restocked it today because it's finished, and it just looks like so. It's a really thick um wax and you can press it down here but um i really love this um styling wax especially um to get the little details like the the flyaways definitely um this helps um this definitely helps with flyaways to give a really nice bold look it adds a really nice shine to the hair and it just controls the hair's movement especially at the top sometimes i use it around here for the extra flyaways um but what i love about this wax is the fact that it doesn't leave your hair oily don't put too much don't be too generous when using this because a little goes a very long way so for the ladies who are always asking me what products i use on my hair to style it it's definitely the care care this has been a staple um for a very long time for me and obviously this is a really good um tresemme is a really good brand for um hair products so like your mousse and stuff like that 
so love that and i really cannot wait to use it i will be doing my hair myself for the holiday um for the holiday yeah so i might film that for you and show you how i use all these products it depends but yeah let me show you what i got from tk max so from tk max i have been eyeing out this le creuse le creuse yeah le creuse um pot Um, they're stoneware suitable for the oven and dishwasherable, microwavable. So I love this. I have been eyeing this out, sorry, for the longest time. Um, why is it focusing on my face? So there we go. There we have it. It's Le Creuset. La Creuset? <laughs> So I have been eyeing this out for so long and I got it for £30. It was £29.99. I just thought this is really nice. They have a white one. I want to go back for that. I think that will be really nice for the summer. And um, since I've been here, I've not really um, bought any new, um, what do you call it? I haven't bought any new pound, uh, cooking wear or anything like that. So I thought it's about time that i update it so i really love this one i will get the white one as well i just think it's so oh, sorry about the noise it's so nice look at that it's so cute it's a really nice small size i'm gonna place it by the cooker and then i'll bring you to show you how it would look because i just feel like you can't really see it properly so here's a close-up of the pot so from le creuset like that it's a really good brand french um i love i just love it i think it's a good size perfect for one person but enough for two sort of thing and i just love how it looks you know it's a really nice stone gray color um really pretty and also from tk maxx i bought these um these containers the canister yes i bought these for the snack drawer um because it's just it's a mess in there and i need to fix it so i bought three tall ones like so and these were 49 eh, sorry these were 4.99 4.99 and i forgot to mention this was three pounds okay and the pot was 29.99 and these i bought three of them to use in there and then i bought two of the small ones because sometimes i have some like i've bought semolina and stuff like when my dad comes sometimes i eat it as well you know like you have to be in the mood for it so i need to put them in these small ones and these small ones were 3.99 and i bought two of them like so um because i need to actually organize the the, the snack drawer it's a mess and these are plastic not glass um i also bought a vitamin c brightening serum from super facialist this was 7.99 it's a skin serum helps to restore skin's natural clarity and even appearance because i've noticed that vitamin c is something that's missing from my routine um although i have a vitamin c oil but i just i want a serum because i feel like serums really do help with the um, brightening and the um even skin tone as well so i'm really looking forward to trying this out oh what's happened to the cap no cap just bareback like that what's happening so strange i hate when companies do this because it makes me feel like someone's used it you know that usually it has a plastic cap here none of that babe none okay so it's a very oh sorry so it's a light consistency smells very um orangey which is good um so yeah i'm hoping this is gonna work for me and especially because i'm traveling next week i just want to make sure that my skincare is um i just want to make sure that i'm on top of my game with my skincare so i'm really looking forward to using this and oh sorry i didn't show you this is what it looks like
and then we're gonna just quickly organize my um my drawer my snack drawer because like i said it's really a mess and i want to suggest a finish with this and i think we'll even go through some fragrances oh no before i do that let me show you the update of the kitchen area with the side drawer okay yes let me do that and then we're gonna wash these and then eat yeah no let me make a coffee first because i'm a mess i'm gonna make a coffee and then i'm gonna show you that as i show you i'm gonna be sipping on my coffee okay all right cutting out sugar so i'm literally having a cappuccino with no sugar pray for me because i was speaking to oh actually let's catch up quickly before i show you that so <laughs> i was speaking to a personal trainer yesterday and i just explained like all my concerns like my worries like with him sorry the team is a bit loud and he basically said to me that because obviously my issue has always been my stomach like obviously now i know why this is happening but even when i lose the weight that food part doesn't leave so he basically said to me and i was like you know what i'm gonna share this with all my ladies he basically said sugar is what gives you that stomach you have to cut down the sugar and you have to do intermittent fasting because that's the only way you get rid of that stabbing fat because we store so much fat and sugar into our body that it turns into acid and then that's and it becomes toxic and that's what creates that that's why you feel bloated that's why that food part just doesn't go down so he basically said to me i need to try do 21 day 21 days of fasting i said to him uh -huh. right now i'm not sure i can do that <laughs> So when I come back from holiday, I'm going to start because I basically do a full day fasting anyway. Well, kind of. Sometimes I break, like yesterday, I broke my fast. I didn't eat. I stopped eating the night before. Not yesterday. Yeah. What's today? Today's Wednesday. So Tuesday, I didn't eat until 7 o'clock in the evening. I had nothing to eat all day from the previous night. That's what I was trying to say. So it's basically a whole day fasting um but what he was saying is like no you literally just need to live on water for like try three days and then make it a week and then two weeks and then three weeks whenever you can maybe you can have some fruits if, if you feel like you really cannot survive it you can have some fruits you can have some veg so i was like that's what i'm gonna do so at the minute i'm living on salad and salmon salad and avocados and stuff like that i'm not eating anything else um i'm still having a coffee because you know coffee is life <laughs> i need to get a hot chocolate machine because i'm a hot chocolate girl you know i'm a hot chocolate kind of girl but i don't have the machine here and the hot chocolate you get from the shops like the powder ones isn't the same so um, to be honest with you this isn't bitter it's not bitter at all it actually tastes quite pleasant so it's not bad without any sugar so yeah he was saying to me we need to um, do a fasting take a lot of herbs yes the aim of fasting is to detox is to cleanse your body and then after that you will start again and with food and now you will start to listen to your body because what he was saying is that we intake a lot of food that isn't good for our bodies although our bodies respond to it when you eat something and feel bloated your body is telling you that it doesn't like it it doesn't agree with it but we're stubborn so we continue feeding ourselves with all these things so what he was saying is we need to listen to our bodies once you start fresh you'll be able to pay attention to how your body reacts to things that's it that's what he was saying so you you fast for three days and then you um the following week you can do a week the, the week after that you do two weeks three weeks and within the fasting you can have smoothies and you can have juices 
okay because the aim is to detox and to cleanse and these things are good for you so you don't have to do um a dry fast where you're not having anything at all you can actually have smoothies and you can have um juices this way you're going to drop the weight and these will trick your body to feel full okay and you can have fruits you can have apples and things like that so it's kind of like a water diet if you know what i mean but it's fasting because you're not actually intaking any food like of substance like that so you get to listen to your body and your body will tell you what it likes when you eat something and you feel light because to be honest with you the past week i've had nothing but salad and when I tell you, after even if I have a big portion of salad, I don't feel bloated and I don't feel, I don't get into a food coma. Do you know what I mean? Um, I still feel good. I feel energetic. I feel really light. That's it. I feel really, really light. So I'm really, and in the past few days, I'm already seeing the difference like i look awake i feel awake i have more energy um i look slimmer my stomach has gone down uh not it's not flat <laughs> let's not get excited <laughs> it's not flat but my stomach has gone down and i just i feel good i feel good and i'm sure you can see that i feel good right i feel a lot more energetic which is really really good so i'm gonna keep at this even when i come back from holiday the aim is to be healthy and to feel good because to be honest with you i've not been feeling good at all at all um so yeah i thought i'll share that with my ladies and gentlemen actually if you're watching so if you're feeling bloated if you're feeling tired if you're feeling um just full and heavy and obviously exercise is the best thing to combine with that because he even gave me an example like his girlfriend lost a lot of weight from dieting and then she wouldn't go to the gym so what happened is she um had a lot of loose skin so because of the loose skin she was tired of it didn't want to work out she ended up putting the weight back on so he was saying that the best thing to do is combine your lifestyle with gym so whatever choice of food you're doing whatever dieting or fasting that you're doing you need to combine it with gym because you need to tone at the same time and it's very important because exercising will help you to feel better it removes um, toxins from the body and um it's just generally good for your heart and it's just it's good for your whole body you know so that's what i've been doing and so far so good i see the difference and i feel really good but anyway let me show you so i'm gonna start training with him and he's also selling some herbs which is good for like um I, I, what did he say it's good for cyst fibroids it's good for other things that he was mentioning so i'm going to be trying them because I'm thinking of going vegan, but uh, I eat, I like mandaba, okay? Although I don't eat mandaba every day, which is meat, but occasionally I like to have it. Here's a quick update of the house. So remember this side, I had all these bags over here. Now I have a chest of drawer. Oh my God. OMG. OMG. I now have a chest of drawer in this area. So the problem is this decor, this decoration isn't going to stay like this. I've just put this here for the meantime. Um, I really love this um, side drawer. It's really beautiful. I love the detailing here. <laughs> Dorky said it looks like a, um, it looks like a heater, but I just I love it. I think it's so so beautiful, and I will use it in my other houses when I move out um yeah i love this i think it's really beautiful really pretty the only problem is i wanted to put this in the corridor but because it's quite wide it would have taken up a lot of space so the only option was to keep it here but now the only problem here is the heater um i don't ever turn this heater on to be honest with you even in the winter i never used it because it's so far away from like there it's so far away from the sofa and yeah I just don't use it so i didn't mind actually putting this here but the annoying thing is the fact that i can see it that's really annoying me so what i would need to do is to fill it with something i need to get some books and just decorate this area enough to hide it because what i did the other day and i really liked it wait one second i placed this flower here and i really liked the contrast 
I think this looks stunning. But then this was empty. Please don't mind the mess. It's all the shopping I've done. Um, so yeah, this, I just, I love this here. I think it looks really stunning. What I will do then is just to get some books and layer it and get some books um, separators or what do you call them? You know what I mean. And get those and put them there and then some candles for some height just to block out this. So that's the aim. Or what I was thinking was to get like a marble round tray like this and get a really nice Joy Malone candle bigger than this one and then just place it there or like a lamp or something like that. I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah, I just need to change it up. I just need to change up the decoration, figure out what I'm going to do, but I'll do this when I come back. But I like the gold and the pink from the flower. I think it adds a really nice look. So maybe this flower will stay here and then I'll need to figure out something for this area over there. So at the minute, I have put some stuff inside, but I need to get some organizers because, yeah, I don't want product leaking through this. Um, but I'll do that when I come back. So this is my PR packages. Um, this is everything that I've showed on stories and I need to test out. So I keep them in here until I finish everything that's in my cupboard over there. Then I will go through and use this. And then so here I have a skincare and then over here I have a body care. Um, I will be giving some of these products away to you guys actually because I don't use them all um, So yeah, so watch out for that. It will be on my Instagram stories And then over here is like collagen and, and face masks and stuff like that and I've got empty space here I'm thinking to bring like all my collagen stuff from up there to here. So yeah, this is the update just quickly this is what, um, this is how big this chest of drawers is. And this chest of drawers is from Wayfair. Um, I think it was like 300 pounds. I love it. I just think it's so, so nice. And it's big enough to fit everything. Although it does look full right now. But once I get organizers, it will be, it will look a lot more better. That, that was the update of the apartment. And now we are going to tackle this drawer because it's a mess it's a mess that's why i've bought these just to organize some of it but tk maxx ran out so i'll go back next time to try and find more of these so that i can organize that area by the way i love this woman uh, i think her name is kb like her house is so dreamy i love those pillows i just love her interior designing like the way she styled her house her clients amazing so if you're into interior definitely check out kb her and um sharika yeah they're really good i really love her she's amazing i want to change the pillows to like more like something like this but with some design on it I, d I definitely want that black and white theme happening over here. I'm really tired of the grey ones. Um, but yeah, in due time, I'll change it. So I just got back from getting my nails done 
like the I spent the longest time there I was there for like three hours because they're so busy and I said to myself I'm not gonna eat after six but unfortunately it's now 6 30 and I have to eat so I'm having like salad sweet potatoes some broccoli salmon let me show you so we've got salmon we've got some Italian style pasta broccoli sweet potato some um, I put some tomatoes in there and a little bit of these cheese I forgot what it's called but yeah this is really nice it's really nice healthy and tastes really good for my salad sauce I use the Caesar salad seasoning and also some mustard for some extra flavor and the salmon is cold and so is this sweet potato because I can't be bothered to warm it up. had my dinner and now we are about to clear the kitchen and possibly style the side table but the sideboard i haven't bought anything for it um but i have an idea like i said i mentioned earlier i want to stack some books on there but i think i've pretty much used all the books that i have so i think what i might do is take the book from the bedroom i have it where the shoes are and i'm gonna bring it here so i'm gonna do that and yeah I think I'm gonna remove this for a second and I want to try this piece here um, I don't know I really do want like a lamp here or oh, you can't see me can you I think I'm gonna put a lamp that I'm not gonna use I think a lamp would be nice and maybe something a lot more slimmer like this but slimmer would look better I like that and um, this candle is temporary the books are also temporary because I do want to um, buy like uh, different, I don't know, I'm thinking of like white, gold, bronze kind of books here. Um, I don't know. I think I prefer the other one. How does it look on camera? Let me look back. No, I don't like that. I don't like this here. What do you guys think? I don't think I like this. To be honest, I'm not sure I have a place for this anymore. I was waiting to get this so that I can put it here but i don't like it um okay let me move this i do prefer the flowers here however i think it's nice that one there's like a gap but i don't want to see this so maybe i could do that this is just temporary for now i think that looks nice what do we think that looks nice i really do want like a marble tray yeah no that's too much I want a marble tray, sorry, a marble tray to go here because I think like around a marble tray here will look really nice and something needs to go here because the aim is to cover the, the radiator because if I bring this closer it's fine, oh, wait, to be honest this might work and then the candle on top, how does that look, I've just taken this off so that i'm not sure the brown goes well wait let me bring you closer um please do excuse the noise i'm making something on the um, air fryer so this is where we are i've put the tom ford cover on here with my dior lookbook and some sand and fog candle and then this ornament is from no it's not an ornament it's a it's a lantern actually but I use it as a, a vase. It's from TK Maxx and so is this flower. So I, I actually really like this. I think this looks really nice. But again, this is temporary. I do want to find better books for here. 
I like the centerpiece on the main table here. Sorry, it's a mess. I do like it here because at the minute it means I have nothing on here. Last time I had put this centerpiece on here, but then nothing really looked nice on that little table. So I was a bit like, mm, what do I do? So I put it back over there. Oh, sorry. But now, yeah, I like this. I think this looks really nice. This looks good. I like it. For now, this will do. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I would love to know what you think. I will fix it when I come back from holiday. But for now, I think I'm satisfied with this being like that. So now I need to look for a centerpiece for the, this table here. So now I think let's tackle this drawer because it's a mess. Like this drawer is a mess. It's a mess. So let's tackle this, let's fix it because I cannot deal. traveling tomorrow so today i'm literally doing all my last minute bits i went into primark by the way primark have some nice holiday bits you oh, must go there yeah. yeah 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 i even got this just for like to wear to travel i even bought the sunglasses where is it these from oh, primark that's yeah nice. that's from primark and i bought this crop top to wear with like a nice high-waisted skirt and it fits perfect guys look it fits perfect this from primark primark Primark, can you imagine? I need to buy Yeah, because with the skirt, oh my god, it was so nice. So yeah, we're gonna do the waxing my legs today. That's what we're doing, and I'll come back for some laser um, before Ashtar travels. So yeah, that's all we're doing today because your girl's gonna be in the sun. I'm gonna tan tonight. Listen, no, I'm gonna show you guys. Today, not after waxing, 24 hours. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Okay, I can't wax tonight, so I'll show you my waxing tomorrow. <laughs>
babes hello welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well guys i'm so tired today is officially the night before i travel and i haven't started packing my clothes yet now i've done some um shopping if you like i've bought some cream and i've bought some toiletry stuff basically which i need to pack away my suitcase is here and i want this vlog to go up on sunday so i will do some editing tonight and i want you guys to pack with me so my suitcase all right my babes so i've put everything together so that i can show you um how i pack now i'm not the best at packing to be honest with you i don't know how to pack i just do what works for me okay so i have my suitcase here this is a medium size um and then i also like to bring my hand luggage this is my louis vuitton keyboard 45 this is really good as a hand luggage because i can put it in the cabin it can fit under my seats um yeah it's really easy to carry but obviously i don't like to get it too full because it doesn't have a strap so it becomes quite heavy i like to have it quite light enough for me to to carry and to hold and it just literally sits on top of my um uh, of my uh what is this again suitcase so i wanted to buy like a big toiletry bag but to be honest with you i knew that i had this from um i think this is clarins so i could fit like all my toiletry stuff in here so to start off i'm bringing my vaseline cocoa radiant body oil this oil is the best it's it just really adds that glow to the skin i really love this this is an essential for summer not just a holiday so this will literally fit into this clarins bag like so i also bought a travel size deodorant like a spray this one is from nivea let me show you like that so that's gonna go into my bag i also bought an airbrush setting spray from um charlotte tilbury so like that that's also coming along i'm going to also bring a small fragrance this is alien i'm not sure what the name of this is but this is an alien scent so i'm also bringing this and i bought a body wash i like to bring my own stuff because i just i don't know like hotel things aren't big enough and sometimes they just provide you like the really really small ones which they have to um refill every day and i find that especially because i'm going with dorky there's two of us it's just not enough i have to always leave one for her vice versa so i rather bring a big size like this to use for myself and i think dorky will have some for herself if not then we'll both share this one hey babes welcome back today is the day that i'm officially traveling so i'm heading now out to get my lashes done with dorky um i never really like whenever i get my lashes done because they never do it how i want them to do it they always telling me that my lashes my natural lashes are short and they cannot support long lashes but my thing is like so what's the point of getting them done then i'm getting them done because my lashes are short right right but anyway let's go um i need to quickly run to the shops to do some last minute shopping and then um i'll make my way to um get my lashes done i will film on my phone though because my bag isn't big enough to bring my camera so i'll see you when i get there Bye.
I'm cool.